Hello and welcome to Academic English UK. Today's video is on academic style in academic writing. All the links are below but if you want further information then go to our website forward slash writing. Okay, we're going to start with a definition of academic style. So, academic style is the conventions often associated with academic writing. Now, although there is much debate over what exactly academic style is, generally there is an agreement among most academic English teachers to the key elements that should or should not be included. The following is a list of the do's and the don'ts. So before we begin, I'd like you to think about what you should not do in academic writing and what you should do considering academic writing style. So to give you an example, no idiomatic or colloquial language should be used. And the yes would be academic vocabulary should be used, such as the academic word list. Pause this slide and see if you can think of four or five no's and four and five yeses. Okay, so the no's. No phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are seen as informal. These are verbs plus prepositions and their use should be limited and alternatives should be found. Personal pronouns. I, we, in my opinion. Again, these are seen as informal. They create informal structures and their use should be limited. Some universities and departments do not accept I in written academic essays. Contractions. Ittel should be written in full form, for example. Questions. It's not common to use question forms in academic essays and positive statements should be written. Personal adverbs. Again, personalising language creates a more narrative feel, so words like surprising, unfortunately, should be omitted. Numbering and bullet points. In paragraphing is not common. Vague language such as and so on etc is also not normally accepted and we should be more specific. Repetition, repeating the same words constantly is seen as lack of vocabulary and an inability to use synonyms. Finally, Basic language that we use in spoken English should be avoided in academic writing. Here are some examples with possible alternatives. Okay, the yeses. Yes, we should be using more passive structures. So, for example, language like we analyse the data could be changed into a more formal structure. The data was analysed. We can also take this one step further and make it more complex by using nominalization or noun structures by taking the verb analyzed and using it as a noun an analysis of the data showed we should be using referencing systems we should be using cautious or tentative hedging language these kind of words these adverbs and verbs are used just to show that we are not 100 percent certain of the facts that we state we should be accurate in our vocabulary and show the differences between key words. And we should be precise and show the exact specific figures. So being specific is a key part of academic writing. Right, if you would like to test yourself, here is the same slide with the words omitted. Please pause this and see if you can name some of the no's and the yeses. OK, academic style practice. So see if you can rewrite this sentence so it's more academic. Another thing to think about is the chance of crime getting worse. So pause this slide and see if you can rewrite it, please. Answer. So the first thing you should do really is look at the sentence and see if you can highlight the informal or non-academic words. So here we have thing, think about, phrasal verb, chance and getting are informal words. From here you should perhaps go to the internet. Something like 
thesaurus.com is a good website to go to to check synonyms. So if I put in thing, thesaurus.com highlights the keywords um, that are specific to that one word. And the brighter orange are the key more frequent words and the lighter orange are the less frequent words connected to that word. You can also use Google and Google you can put in thing plus sin and this will highlight a whole list too and you can pick words that you feel are appropriate to the word in context. So through that I come up with a list so I could use thing, area, aspect, feature, point, or think about. I could change to consider, note, understand, acknowledge, chance, possibility, probability, situation, and getting. The, the most common similar word to this is becoming. I then choose which word I would like to use or which is the most appropriate. So here I'm choosing aspect, consider, possibility, becoming, and then I rewrite the sentence. So another aspect to consider is the possibility of crime becoming worse. I can take this to a further step which is by nominalizing it. So here uh, I'm changing the main verb into a noun form. So I take consider and I turn it into the noun of considerization, consideration with of preposition. And it's done and it's more academic so, I would like you to do these exercises, your first one. Please pause this slide and see if you can rewrite this using some of the information you've learned from today. Answer. Currently, the rate of unemployment is at an unprecedented level. C. Pause this slide. See if you can rewrite it. Answer. It has been proposed that by 2017, a vaccine for malaria will have possibly been discovered. Notice hedging cautious language. Next, pause this slide. Answer. After 2013, the Japanese property market in-house value fell dramatically. Or, since 2013, the price of property fell dramatically in Japan. For all of these exercises, there are a variety of answers, and these are just some of the possible answers you could use. If you want more, then please go here, Academic English UK slash academic style where there's a worksheet and everything I've talked about today you can download. Unfortunately it will cost you 50 pence but it's a good investment and there's lots more on our website. A lot of what I've done today has been taken from this book, Academic Writing, a Handbook for International Students. This is Stephen Bailey 2014. Um, it costs about 25 pounds and here's the link here connected to the publisher. Thank you for watching my video today. If you would like more information on academic style or academic writing, please go to our website forward slash writing. Thank you.